And so now we have the hints pertaining to report writing using Microsoft Word as a report writing tool. Good features regarding the writing a report. So I'm going to simulate the writing of a report on flexi time. So this would be the title page. And then I would then turn the codes on so I could see when I created page breaks. Control Enter would create a con page break. Okay, so there, if we were to scroll up, we would see the page break has been entered there. Here we have the table of contents, and I'm going to create another page break there. We would have the executive summary, and I would create another page break there. Here I would have the introduction to the report, and the introduction comprises six subsections, as we learnt on page 16 of the manual, that would be Purpose statement. Notice I'm using title case, history, and background. That's the context needs for the writing of this report, the methods uh, of research, the definitions of terms, and the scope. I put the scope in the wrong place on purpose, and you'll see why later. Control Enter, a new page in the body of the report. Assuming we had already designed this report to comprise three major premises. Here we have productivity, financial advantages, and human resource advantages. Um, for the right for implementing flexi time. Here we would have our conclusions and recommendations. <clears throat> and here we would have our appendices. All right, there could be other sections, but that's all that's required. So the codes are on. I'm going to turn the codes off. The codes were there just to see where I'd place my page breaks. So I'm turning the codes off. And I'm going to apply style number one. Heading number one, should I say, to um, each to each of these. I have a particular design for heading one. Yours can be the inbuilt Microsoft Word design, or it can be a design you have or your company has. Right, there could be subheadings underneath that. We will we'll leave that for now. Introduction itself. Be heading one. And then these, of course, will be heading two because they're further down in the hierarchy. Okay, executive summary would be heading one as well. All right, and then I would not make table of contents any particular style, neither would I make the title page a particular style. So here the beauty of applying an inbuilt style becomes apparent. Should I choose this method for multi-level numbering, I would choose that one there. And the beauty of that is that everything is numbered perfectly. Now, the view that would be best utilized for the creation of your report would be the outline view and we would take this down it must only show up to level three I only have two levels but I'll make it level three anyway and you'll see here remember I placed scope at the bottom but I want scope to be just below needs so I click and drag this up just below needs and there's the movement plus of course one has the uh, the renumbering so let's put the purpose statement in and there has to be a demotion to body text here. Yeah, it's trying to create another heading, so I demote it to body text. And this report investigates, remember my conceptual verb, the advantages of flexi time, which I will capitalize, treating it as a, an official uh, formal term. All right, um, let me put some more text underneath definition of terms here. So I'm going to go down to body text. That stipulated definition suffices for this particular report. 
Then, of course, my mind map and brainstorm would populate the various points below here. I'm going to close my outline view here. There we go. All right. Now, the beauty of having done things this way is that, of course, creation of my table of contents is very easy. So if I just were to click there and go to References, Table of Contents, Customize Table of Contents, and I like the fancy style, all right, but you can choose any style you want. Click on OK. There we go. So all the contents are there, and I'm going to put that in the center, make that quite big and bold. 